Hello, welcome to SQL Server interview series. So today we are going to discuss about a Netflix SQL interview question. So as you can see on my screen, we have two tables. We have user friends table. We have user pages table. So think this uh, this data is like coming from Facebook. So you are supposed to build a new Facebook recommendation system. So as of now you have uh, a table where you see user ID and his friends, and in the second table you see a user ID and the respective page ID that the user has liked. So you are supposed to build a new Facebook recommendation system where we are uh, supposed to write a query to display all the pages that a user's specific friends have liked. But the user itself is not following that page. Let me go back to Excel to make more sense of this. Okay, so as I mentioned that you have two tables, we have user friends table and then we have user pages table. So what I meant in the initial of this video is that, that we have to build a, uh, a kind of recommendation system which should uh, display us all the records where a specific user friends has liked a page but the user itself is not following that page. So just to give an example, you see this user ID one here. So user ID is friend of, uh, uh, friend of two, right? So if I go here, you see user ID for, uh, one is already following pages 21 and 25. but this user ID 2 is it's also following this page ID 23. Let me just highlight that. Okay. So that essentially what this means is that we have to build a recommendation system that now this page ID 23 should also be recommended to user ID 1. So that means in my output I should get something like this 1 and then 23. And then this should happen for all the users that we have in this table. I hope you are uh, getting the hang of it. We have to look at all those pages that the user's friends have liked, but user is not following, right? So similarly, if I just add on to this example that we just took for the user ID 1. So if you see user ID, user ID 2 is, is also following user uh, this page ID 24. So that means in our output, we should also get this. That user ID 1 should follow this uh, page ID 24 because the friend of user ID 1, 2, is following these pages. That is what we have been asked to do in this question. I hope you understood the question. So before moving forward, I would request anyone and everyone who's watching this video to please subscribe to this channel. That would really motivate me to bring more and more uh, interesting SQL challenges and so that you can crack your SQL interviews on the fly. Okay, so coming back to the question. Um, let me just head back to SQL Server. Okay. So guys, I'll be giving the create and insert statements in this uh, videos in this uh, description. Kindly refer to that. Okay. So I've already created these tables in my instance. Let me just run them out for a moment. Okay. So we had this table initially that I told you about where we have user ID and the list of friends that a specific user has. Okay. Then we have user pages. Okay. So here we have got all the details of the user ID and the specific pages the user has liked. Okay, and now we have to find out those uh, details that a specific user, we have to now find out the details actually that uh, uh, recommendation system that the user ID from user friends table now should be recommended those pages which the user's friends have liked, but the user itself is not following. So I hope you are understanding the flow. Okay, so let's try to see what we can do here. Okay, so anyways, we have already written this query. Let me write it down. Okay, guys, now let's try to build a logic here. Right. So, because what we have to do is first, we need to find out all those pages which the friends of a user has liked. Let's for now just go with this uh, user ID one example. That would really help us to understand this problem. Let me just highlight this. Okay, so now let's only try to focus on this first user. So, if we are able to get the query right, the rest of the records will automatically come correctly for the all of the respective other users. Okay. So what we have to first do it, let's do one thing. Let's first try to get all those pages that the friend, friends of this user, the specific user one have liked. And once we get that output, we will then find out which all pages this user ID one was not following. I think uh, I understand this might be a bit confusing as this is this is the kind of problem that you would expect in a product-based uh, company's interview. Okay, let's see what we can do that. Let's let me write a query for that so that you'll understand what I'm trying to say. Okay, 
let's only focus on this user id one for uh, for this moment okay so let's write a query let's give it alias as users and do a new join with user pages on let's from pages we can get this user id and now guys please pay attention here i'm taking the friend id here from this users table now what i'm trying to do is I'm, I'm joining this friend id with this user id here so that i only want to see what on pages see what on pages this uh, specific user uh, i mean for this specific user one id whoever his friends are what all pages they have liked that's what i'm currently trying to find out okay so users dot friend underscore id let's first try to take our relevant columns because i want from users table i'd like to see the user id of course and then the friend id right and then i would also like to see the pages id right is dot page ID. all right let me just hover down there a bit okay and let's also give a where filter here for our sake of understanding let's say users dot user id is equal to one so that let's only focus on this specific user and see what we get here okay so as you can see guys see now in our output let me just expand it a bit okay so in our output what we have got here see which are friends this user id had so user id one actually had three friends let me run the initial query for you okay so he was friends with uh, user id two and then four and then five so what we have got from this query is you see so what are pages the friends of user id one has like the details we have got in this column that's why guys make sure please pay attention here that i joined her with this with this friend id column right you see so i think the user id 4 did not have any pages so that's why we don't see any record for user id 4 here so we only see records for his friends 2 and 5 right and these are all the pages that uh, these people 2 and 5 have liked okay so now initially as i told you that we have to build a recommendation system now what we can do is see we have got this data, initial data set with us and now what we can do is from this data set we can compare the original user pages table and try to remove those records where i mean try to remove those pages for which the user id is already falling so let me see just one second let's see which pages the user id one is falling as of now you see user id one is only following pages 21 and 25 that means in our final output we do not expect this uh, user id one with 25 and 23 pages right because he's already following them I only want to see those records. The user ID one is not already falling. So that means this 25 record, 1 and 25 should not come in the output. Let me double check. This pages is falling. Right. It's falling 21 and 25. And that means I need to remove these record 1 and 25 because the user ID one is already following these pages. I only want to see those pages in my output, which he is not all this guy, user ID one is not already falling. Okay. So you see, anyways, this 25 and 21 has also been followed by user ID 2, which was friend of user ID 1. That's why I don't want this in my output. Okay. So what can we do here? Uh, okay. What I can think of is we can go with an accept clause. Right. So let me just quickly remove this uh, friend ID because I don't need this friend ID in my final output. And let's go with an accept clause. Let's see what we get. Right. Let's go with select star from user page and that's it let's see what we get here and then we'll see from that okay you see it has worked right now in my final output i'm only getting those pages which these are see guys these were the pages that the user id ones friends were following but he was not following if you remember i mean from the previous part of this video the user id one was following pages 21 and 25 and as i told you previously we do not want those pages in the output because he's already following them right i hope this is making sense guys now what we can do is to get all the output let's just comment out this filter for now and let's see what we get yep 
it has worked. So because initially I only targeted this problem keeping user ID one in the mind because now I've counted out my fair filter and I can see the output for all the other users. So similarly, this must these must be the pages that the user ID three was not following initially and our recommendation system is showing that because these pages have been followed by his friends, so probably he should also be seeing those pages on his feed. Right. Okay. Okay, so this is the first solution guys that I thought of, I could think of initially and initially I attempted this problem. There is another way that I can do this. So rather than using except, I can also go with a not exist condition here. Let's see how we can do that. Because in an interview, it's not uh, sometimes what interviewers might say to you that they actually limit uh, use of uh, set operators. Now, when I say set operators, it can be union, except, intersect, and etc. So sometimes they can specifically ask you to attempt these kind of problem with, let's say, a uh, co uh, correlated subquery or independent subquery. Uh, okay, in this instance, I was able to think of a correlated subquery. Let's see what we can do. Okay. Now, where not exists select star from user pages, of course. Right, where let's again name it, let's say page pages one. <coughs> where you were pages one dot in my pages table. I have two columns. Let me see which columns were there. We had user ID and then page ID. Okay. User ID. It's not equal to, is equal to, sorry. And I should be joining this pages one table with users table. Users. User ID. And pages dot page ID is equal to pages on dot page ID. Let's see what we get. Okay, so we have got these many records. But guys, there is a catch here. Let me show you what. When initially we went with the except problem, uh, sorry, except clause, we got only 14 records. I'll let me double show you. Show that to you once again. Oh, sorry. I think I comment uncommented this filter. Okay. So as you can see, we have got 14 records here, right? Yeah. So, but when we actually used the not exist condition, we got 20 records. Now, why do you think that might be happening? You see here, we are getting 20 records. Now, let me just order it. Let me just order it and you will understand what I'm trying to say. Order by, let's give it user start user ID. You see, we are getting duplicates here. You see 123 and 123 is getting repeated. Why do you think that might be happening? The reason behind that is, when you use an except clause, except works like a union. Except will always give you distinct records. So you don't, you don't have to mention distinct explicitly in a select clause when you are using uh, except clause actually and that's why but uh, on the other hand when you're using this where not exist condition you are getting duplicates as well so that means in such kind of questions when you are going with where filter or some not exist kind of condition you have to go with this thing as well let's see how uh, we should be getting 14 records yep we are getting 14 records now right okay and of course in the case of except, it is giving you distinct records, so you don't have to explicitly mention the distinct clause. I think that's it for today, guys. Thank you so much for joining. So again, I would request to please subscribe to this channel and please give me support because that would really motivate me to bring out more and more interesting SQL challenges and that would really help you to crack your SQL interviews. Thank you so much. Bye-bye.